Cops are entrusted with authority, but what happens when accountability catches up with them? Here are four times when evil cops get what they deserve. Why are you arresting me? I'm asking for your ID. Oh, you said you don't have any ID. Can I get it? It's in my car. You yeah. said you didn't have ID. No, I do. What did I do? Give me your arm. Let me get my car. Give me your arm. Ah! This is Officer Michael McGill from the Phoenix Police Department, and he's about to get a sweet dose of karma. On January 17th, 2020, Officer McGill conducted a traffic stop on a road in Arizona, pulling over 23-year-old Mariah Valenzuela. Valenzuela was driving in the wrong lane and was instructed to stop in a nearby parking lot. Unfortunately, the reason for the stop wasn't adequately communicated to Valenzuela, exacerbating the situation. The interaction between Officer McGill and Valenzuela escalated leading to her violent arrest. Hi. Okay. What's your license? I don't have it on me. You have any ID on you? Why am I getting pulled over? I'm at 600 West Camelback, or excuse me, Indian School Road. Why am I getting pulled over? Is this your car? No. Bravo John Sam. Why am I getting 5455. pulled over? 5455. Do you have ID on you? No. Why am I getting pulled over? Put your hands behind excuse your back. Excuse me! Put your hands behind your back! No! Put your hands behind your back! Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Stop! Hands behind your back! Time 600. Give me another unit. Why are you arresting me? I'm asking for your ID. You said you don't have any ID. Can I get it? It's in my car. You said you didn't have ID. Give me your arm! Let me get my car! Give me your arm! Stop! Stop! Give me your arm! Put your arm! Give me your arm! What did I do? You were in the wrong lane, you were in the opposite lane no, of travel! I wasn't. Give me your arm! No, I wasn't! Give me your arm, please! You're me! Give me your arm! Give me your arm! <laughs> Give me your hand! I can't do this! I did nothing wrong, sir! <laughs> Stop. What the hell did I do? You were in what opposing did I lane. Do? No, I wasn't! Yes, you were. Why did you tackle me? Leave my spot. I'm locking it. Stop. I'm a no car. I can't do this. I've got her detained, but she's real uh, uncooperative. I'm like, I need Stand up. Stand up. It's in the car. Okay, well then you should have told me that. You could have given it to me. Stop me? arguing. Stop. Stop. Why don't you act like a young lady? You're Stop. not arguing me. No, I'm not. I'm trying you to get you. You slammed my head. Stop. Why am I in handcuffs? Why am I in handcuffs? Stop. 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 You act like I'm a fucking threat. Are you serious? Why are you acting this way? Because you're hurting me, sir! From the get-go, you've been screaming and yelling. Because so you're stop. hurting me! I'm not hurting you. Why am I arrested? Why am I handcuffs? Because well, I, I asked for ID. You. No, I asked for ID. That's in the car. Can I get it? No, well, I'll get it now. Okay, Miguel. You refuse. You refuse to give it to me. It's in the car. Well, that's you should have just you given it to me. Well, can you let me go so I can get it? No, I'll get it in a minute. Subsequently, the deputies referred to this incident as the cover-your-ass case in their conversation after she was arrested. I'm out here on Indian School. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, is that that? The one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, it's her head bleeding or something? Yeah, the DUI, and she does. She does. She's got blood on her hand, but it's because she was sitting there wiping it over and over again. But uh, she's got about a, a, like a, maybe a quarter to, it's not a half inch, so just about a quarter inch cut on the top of her head. Um, it might need a stitch. Uh, and she's got a, like a little, you can tell she probably bumped her head on the ground when he took her to the ground. So, uh, okay. I'm going to do the use of force for McGillis. And then, uh. Yeah, no, there, was, there, was no, there was no strikes or anything. It's more like a, just like an injured prisoner, right? Oh, yeah, she was freaking yeah. Yeah, she was freaking out about it. And, uh, when he actually had to take her to the ground, I think that's, it was either that or when he had to, try to push her up against the car. So, she's like super emotional, so, yeah, super. Yeah, Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah, so uh, we're going to get her checked out. Let's make sure we do photos and stuff. Yeah, like you said, do the, we'll do the injured prisoner slash support just to see why in ourselves. Yeah. Um, 
Mariah Valenzuela faced multiple charges, including failure to have ID, failure to comply with an officer, driving left of center, and DUI impaired to the slightest degree. The most severe charge was resisting arrest, considered a violent felony due to the risk of physical injury to the officer. However, despite admitting to drinking earlier in the day, Valenzuela's blood and breath tests confirmed she wasn't intoxicated during the traffic stop. Valenzuela reportedly sustained injuries on her head, face, hands, and legs. She argued that McGill had repeatedly slammed her head while leaning on the car. Valenzuela described significant pain while lying in the jail cell, stating she was bruised all over. There's, there's nothing, uh, I mean, it's, it's, when we get, she's not making, is she alleging any misconduct or anything, or is she just complaining about the injury? Uh, she thinks she was kind of manhandled or whatever, but I don't think it's, I, I'm getting ready to review the body camera right now. She's super all over the place. Okay, no, that's what I was going to say. Let's just make sure we, we review the camera, make sure it looks good to go. And then we'll do the use of force, just, just to see why everybody cover them. Yep. But, um, yep, nope, sounds good. Keep me posted. James Palestini, Valenzuela's attorney, criticized the arrest and charges as severe. Palestini called it serious physical violence by someone meant to protect. Valenzuela's attorneys filed a civil complaint against Officer McGillis, a phlebotomist in the DUI unit, for false arrest and imprisonment. Numerous defense attorneys who have dealt with Officer McGillis in DUI cases are critical of his conduct, both on the streets and in the courtroom, portraying him as an embodiment of systemic issues within the police department. A 2014 incident recalls where Officer McGillis reportedly verbally and physically abused a woman during a DUI arrest. However, he did not face disciplinary action. Similarly, in 2018, McGillis was accused of falsifying information in another DUI case, but investigators found no evidence of misconduct. Despite the police asserting no sustained allegations against McGillis in the last five years, Attorneys are optimistic that newly obtained body camera footage will allow the department to address misconduct seriously. If you think this was the maximum a cop can be evil, wait until you watch this next case. Stand up, okay? Stand up, you're good. Stand up, I gotcha. Hey, you're good, you're good, all right? Stand up, I gotcha. You're gonna be okay. Stand up, I gotcha. I'm gonna detain you for right now, okay? Let me get every form and set it on the ground so we don't break it, all right? This is a deputy from the Pittsfield County Police Department. On April 16th, 2021, around 3.30 p.m., this officer, along with several other deputies, noticed a man accompanied by his child who was driving near the Briarwood Mall in Ann Arbor during an investigation into a recent shootout. However, the driver was not involved in that incident and was simply asked to leave the area. Later, the driver again drew the police's attention by driving against one-way traffic near the mall and exceeding 100 miles per hour on the freeway after leaving the area, as detailed in the lawsuit. The police apprehended the driver in a nearby parking lot. Observe the wrongful act this deputy is about to commit. Hands, hands, put the phone down now, sit. Lay down, lay down, lay down, put the phone down. Stand up, okay? Stand up, you're good. Stand up, I gotcha. Hey, you're good, you're good, all right? Stand up, I gotcha. You're gonna be okay. Stand up, I gotcha. I'm gonna detain you for right now, okay? Let me get every form and set it on the ground so we don't break it, all right? I didn't run from you! I didn't run from you! Are you okay? It's fine, these come off just as easy, all right? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Sorry, now we got to detain car secure. Is there anything in fact we need to know about? No, no, nothing. All right. okay, you can check. You're okay, all right? Who's in the car with you? It's your dad? Okay. Do you, do you know why he took off running? Huh? You know why he took off running? No. Okay. All right, he's going to be okay too. Don't worry about it, all right? You're okay. Everything's going to be fine. Stop pulling away from me. Stop moving. Stop. Wow. Stop. Where's the sergeant? Stop. Get off of me, dude. Stop. I'm going to pull your mask up, okay? You're okay? You're not hurt at all? No. You're in the ambulance training? I'm scared. Everything's going to be good. Don't worry about it, all right? For you, it's out on James L. We're going to take the patch off and enter on board in Metro East. The detail will be on interrupt. Yep, we'll let you make some phone calls in just a little bit, okay? He's okay. He's okay. Are you in He's all right. Why the fuck do y'all come in? Here. Do me a favor, let's go over to the side of the car, okay? 
Alright, you're good. You're good, you're good. It's alright. Where's your mom at? She's at home. Okay. Alright. Why do y'all got my son in handcuffs, bro? Here, let's go over to my car. We'll get you out of those handcuffs, alright? Okay. I was actually just taking him over to the car to do it. All right, you're good. Do you want to call your mom? Yeah. All right, we can call your mom. Do you want to have a seat right there on the yep. curb? Well, listen, I'm sorry, right? right there. You're, you're good. You can stand. You can sit. It's up to you. I get it. What is it? Huron Street? Huron the Street? The Kroger on Huron Street 94. Nine, Kroger on Huron Street 94. What do you mean? What's going on? My dad got pulled over. Oh my god. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm coming from here. She's chilled. I'm on my way. Okay. Just tell, just tell her everything's okay. He's alright. Okay. So just hurry but don't hurry, okay? We don't want you to get into an accident. He, okay, he's, he's okay. So we're, where? You're on Street 94, we're at the Kroger. Um, at the Kroger by, uh, okay. McDonald's. There's a uh, powerhouse the gym Kroger. there, a shell station, we're right behind the shell station. Okay, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Okay, and your son's fine. Okay. The kid was visibly trembling and traumatized by the events he was witnessing, guns being pointed at him, and his father being arrested. To add further spice to it, the evil cop handcuffs this innocent soul, despite knowing he is just a harmless child. The cop tries to control the kid's emotions by offering him a treat, but the damage has already been done. Y'all good? You need a water or anything? You thirsty? Yeah. Gatorade? Hey, can you? I'm gonna grab him a drink. Okay. You want a Gatorade or a water? Alright. Thank you. Yep. Uh, can you, it here, it's, a, um, it's a bag in the car and it's gray and um, yep. it's my grandma's gift. Okay. Yeah, we'll make sure we get everything for you. They're going to have to do some things with the uh, car just because, you know, what happened. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely make sure we get that for you. Don't worry about that. It's uh, Huron near Whitaker. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Hello. Huron. Okay, um, don't start crying. Your mommy on the way? Yeah. I know I asked him, but you're okay, you don't need the paramedics to look at you at all? Didn't hit your head? No. See, Colt was on, all that good stuff? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and like I said, sorry about that initial stuff, alright? Okay, so my dad, dad wants to over there. You wanna, you wanna go see your dad? Don't forget your, uh, don't forget your Gatorade. Mom's on her way. Markia Dixon, the mother of an 11 year old boy who underwent this encounter, took legal action. On October 5th, attorney Webster Cox initiated a lawsuit in U.S. District Court against the officer, seeking $400,000 in compensation for the emotional injury inflicted upon the boy. The lawsuit alleges that the officer violated Pittsfield Township Department of Public Safety Policy, asserting that he is instructed not to handcuff subdued children without probable cause or reasonable suspicion. The legal action includes charges of battery, assault with a deadly weapon, infliction of emotional distress, 
and gross negligence. The names of the 10-year-old boy and the incompetent officer remain unknown. If you believe this corrupt officer was the only one on this planet, just wait until you see this next case. What's going on where you're driving really fast and swerving in front of cars? Oh, that was my buddy in front of me. I was just, uh, we're just driving to uh, meet a friend of ours. Okay, where are you going? We're just going uh, to meet our buddy. Okay, um, do you understand you did something that was very dangerous? This is Officer Jaden Kleinke from the Pleasant Prairie Police Department. On his off-duty, he is seen wandering in his car on the roads of Michigan on the night of the 26th of December, 2020. He is pulled over by Officer Mark Kropp from the Menominee Police Department. Officer Kleinke claims that he didn't have any drink that night, but the interrogating cop isn't so sure. Here is how it all went down. I'll be a clear stop in another stop. We're 10th Street, 9th Ave. Wisconsin truck. Robert H. Henry 3487, RH 3487. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Officer Croft. I work with the City of Menominee Police Department. What's going on where you're driving really fast and swerving in front of cars? Oh, that was my buddy in front of me. I was just, uh, we're just driving to uh, meet a friend of ours. Okay, where are you going? We're just going uh, to meet our buddy. Okay, um, do you understand you did something that was very dangerous? Like you, you went really fast and you swerved in front of another vehicle, you know, in traffic. That's not okay. Do you have a license on you, a registration and a proof of insurance? Yeah. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. None? Okay. <clears throat> Just your eyes look a little watery, that's all. Watery? They look a little red and watery. Where are you coming from tonight? My buddies. Okay. Okay. Can you do me a favor and sit tight for a few minutes while I go ahead and uh, yeah. talk in a couple things? I'm on. A, I, I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> you just scared me with like. No, sorry. Right. I'm on an OWI grant tonight. Okay. So we uh, we work through the um, OHSP. We're granted. Um, uh, I, 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 yeah, it's grant enforcement. Yeah. Um, so you work with uh, Pleasant Prairie Police Department? Yeah, it's it's an internal Chicago. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> you just, you, you literally, I'm, I'm sorry. You just, you literally uh, scared me. Nope. I didn't mean to start it. That's okay. Are you armed today? No. No. Okay. No, I, I left that at home. Okay. All or right. I, at my dad's house. Yeah. Okay. Well, do me a favor and sit tight for a little bit. Okay. Um, like I said, I am on a grant today, no, so I gotta, I gotta document things. Okay. No, I get it. I get it. I'm Thank sorry. you. It's okay. I, I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. All right, man. So I'm not going to beat around the bush terribly. Um, you know, I've been through A-Ride. I've, I've been through advanced SFST training and everything. Your eyes are a little watery. Your speech is mildly slurred. I'm willing, more than willing to work with you today. Um, I just want to make sure that you're okay to drive. Um, can you just be straight up with me? Did, were you drinking at all today? No. You weren't drinking at all? No. No? Okay. So I'm just trying to... I know what position you're in and everything. I'm just trying to make sure everyone's safe tonight. That's all. No. Obviously, um, there was a little bit of careless driving. Um, I, I am seeing a little bit of indications, so um, I'm not trying to tie you up or anything like that. I am, again, more than willing to work with you a lot. Um, I'm just trying to make sure you're okay to drive. Yeah. Okay. Hey, can you just jump out and talk to me real quick behind the vehicle? What's that? Can you talk to me outside real quick? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay. Like I said, I don't mean to put you through the ringer. Um, I, I just saw a couple things. I'm just doing my job, man. Officer Kropf requests him to exit the vehicle to interrogate him. 
Despite opting for a relatively lenient approach, the investigating officer is yet to find out an unsettling truth. The cop removes his body camera for a short while as Officer Kleinke argues that he cannot speak openly while their conversation is being recorded. Would you mind if I run through HGN real quick? Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay? All right, am I gonna see any HGN? Huh? Am I, I'm not gonna see any HGN? I mean, maybe a little bit? Dude, it's your job, man. Just be straight. Huh? Just be straight. I'll be, I'll, I'm going to work with you, man. Just be straight with me. Are you going to see HGN? Yeah. Potentially. I mean, <laughs> you're going to, you're literally putting me in a position. No, 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 no. You're putting me in a position. No, do, I understand that. Okay. I, I don't, I don't mean to put you in that position. Okay. I don't mean to. You we're driving like a, a Yahoo over there, I and know, that made me stop I, you. If you drove like a normal person, I wouldn't have stopped you. I, I would not like to be in your position you're, you're in. I know. I'm not I, I know. stupid. I know. Okay? I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I know. Are you okay to drive right now or not okay? I am okay to drive, but I I, I, I don't <laughs> I don't want to answer. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, you don't want to commit yourself. I, I Yes, I don't. Okay. Upon the arrival of the supervisor from Menomine Police, Officer Croft is about to conduct sobriety tests on Officer Clanky. Okay, um, so this is Jaden. Jaden was, uh, I was on a traffic stop. I was just clearing my stop. He took off from the continuation of 10th and 5th, near 15th. Um, gunned it, passed the car uh, in a careless manner constitutes careless driving, and then he took off again from the stoplight in a careless manner. Okay. I talked to him, he said he was messing around with a friend, he's on his way to a friend's house from a friend's house. Um, advice, he doesn't uh, wish to answer questions. Okay. Um, he advised he is more than willing to cooperate with my requests, but he is advocating for himself today. Okay. Is he going to do XSDs or anything? I don't know. Okay. Let's start with that. Okay. Um, no, nothing, nothing special here. We'll go from there. I, if, he, if he needs them. Hey, but can you help out real quick? Yeah. Are you going to do SFSDs? That's what you want me to do, yeah. That's obviously it's up to you, but uh, it's... Hello, I'm Sergeant Bunch. Hi. Are you willing to do SFSDs? I don't really have a choice. Sorry. Okay, why don't you step back here? We're not going to sit with you, all right? I know. Let me get the light shut off. All right, so obviously you don't wear glasses, contacts. Nope. No, do you have any vision problems or vision impairment? Nope. Are you on any medications that affect your eyesight in any way? No. No. Okay. Uh, can you do me a favor and just uh, pull your hat off for me? I'll like, put it back on in a minute just so I can see your eyes better. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so, you know, just be all feet together, hands on your sides. What I want you to do is. Are you willing to take a PBT? Officer Clanky does pretty well in sobriety tests. However, Officer Kropf already had suspicion on him as he was driving under the influence DUI. However, to make things clear, he conducts a PBT test. You're Wisconsin? Yeah. Yeah. Michigan law, I don't know how Wisconsin PBT works. Michigan law requires it, or it's a civil infraction with a penalty up to $200 when requested by police officer. Say that again? Michigan law requires you submit to a PBT under request of a peace officer, which we are doing. If you refuse, it's a civil infraction with a fine up to $200. I'm, I'm not going to bullshit. it. Here's where we're at. If you don't take the PBT, you're going to go to jail. If you choose to take the PBT and we're a 099 or under, we'll have somebody else drive you. If you're over a 10, you're going to get lodged, but you'll avoid the ticket. I mean... I guess supervisor, what do you suggest? Uh, he just told you. Yeah, that's, I'm, I am not at all. I'm not gonna try to play games with you. 
That's that's the deal. Essential 87, you're requesting a status uh, 8779 and secure. I'm, I'm saying it can't hurt you, but I don't know where you think you're at. It can, it can at a minimum save you off a citation, at a maximum you get you get nothing, you'll be on your way. All right. You can't you can't lose by by taking it. Whatever supervisor says. So yes. You you have you get to make your own decision. But uh, I'll grab a piece of tea. I mean that's what he's saying. He he's giving you the the option. He's giving you the option of taking it. Yes, that's. I mean he's saying yes. Like, As it stands, you didn't do so hot on the SFSTs. The only thing I didn't do is probably the HE. Well, you, you could not for life you recite an alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd like to try it. I'd like to. Alright, deep breath just like you're trying to blow up a balloon. They were 138, so not quite double, but I was straight with you, unfortunately. You know how it is these days. We will make the process as easy on you as we can, as we do with anybody who cooperates with us. So what would you like to see done with your truck? Officer Kleinke was arrested following the PBT test while he blew 0.17, almost twice above the limit. He was immediately detained and arrested despite the special treatment and favors from Deputy Kropf. Subsequently, Sergeant Bunch searched and discovered an empty white claw in the back pouch of the passenger seat. The sergeant noted that it was within arm's reach and speculated that Kleinke had emptied it during the traffic stop. A significant pool of alcohol was observed on the floor, suggesting potential deceit or obstruction. Legally parked, right? Yep, we can leave it here if you want. Yeah. Any open alcohol? No. Okay. This one. Do you want anything from your vehicle brought with you? Phone, the keys. I mean, I guess my phone and my keys. Sure right. thing. The major concern from the Pleasant Prairie Police Department is that Kleinke, having potentially broken the law, endangered lives, lied multiple times, and hid evidence, casting doubt on his integrity when making arrests or testifying in court. If you think this was an end to what evil cops can get in return for their sins, then probably you haven't watched this next case. This is Officer Jesse Hernandez from the Okaloosa County Police Department. On November 12, 2023, in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, the deputies took action in response to a complaint from Marquis Jackson's girlfriend. She asserted that Jackson had committed grand theft auto, threatened her, and had multiple firearms and a silencer. According to the police, Jackson was subsequently detained, searched, handcuffed, and placed in the back of Hernandez's car while deputies searched for the woman's stolen car. Watch how Officer Hernandez reacts as he goes past his cop car. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired!
I might have hit my vest. It might have hit my vest, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I don't know. I it felt like it. Jesse, move over to me. I got you. Move over to me. Jesse, come back home. Uh, uh, Marky is right there. Dude, am I hit? Go, 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 Officer Hernandez opens fire at his police cruiser, believing a falling acorn to be a muffled gunshot, while Jackson was inside it. Jackson, though marked safe, was traumatized by the incident. Another perspective is captured on Officer Beth Roberts' body camera, who was questioning Jackson's wife during the unfolding of this shooting. What? What? Oh. Where? Right there? Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Shots fired, shots fired, I got a deputy down. Following this incident, Officer Jesse Hernandez resigned from his post. Sergeant Beth Roberts, who fired her weapon as well, was cleared of any wrongdoing in an internal investigation and continued to serve in her role as reported by the police. Investigators determined that Hernandez was at fault for a policy violation regarding excessive use of control to resistance. It is saddening to see cops being our protectors turning evil. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe for more. Goodbye.